Hey guys, Machines and Mal here. I was just working on this old uh, Husqvarna rider mower uh, for somebody. This is a single cylinder, air cooled, four stroke, 18.5 foot pounds of torque motor that Briggs makes, which is not really a good motor, but it is what it is. And anyway, I just thought here's an opportunity to make a quick video about these um, carburetor fuel solenoids. So not not a lot of people know what they do i thought i would just make a quick video about what they do so basically what you got is you got your carburetor on the side of the motor right there and in the bottom is the solenoid and it's actually connected with a with a wire like that and what happens is when you turn the key to the on position uh, electromagnetic force inside of this pulls down a little plunger a little plastic uh, rubber rubber cap plunger and it allows fuel to flow from the bowl up into the carburetor tube emulsion tube and into the carb down the intake when you turn that key off it cuts power to the solenoid and it, there's a little cap in there that actually shoots shoots up by spring power and it plugs the hole uh, stopping the fuel from running up through the carburetor thus cutting the fuel supply to the engine this serves i believe two purposes um, primarily it's to stop the air fuel from flowing through after you shut off the machine to prevent the engine from flooding because technically if you didn't have a plug and you turn this off at full tilt it's going to continue to suck air fuel into the engine and flood uh, the other thing it does is it turns the machine off so there's two two features i'm not sure which one is the actual proper proper feature but those are the two things that i understand that this does now to remove this you need to make a tool what you do is you take a half inch open end wrench like that and you grind it I don't know if you can see that in the camera but you got to grind it so it's narrow because if you look at the top of the solenoid there's actually a half inch flat spot that you can slip a wrench onto like that like that and you can spin this off generally a, a regular thickness wrench that part there won't fit in between so I've ground this wrench down and I've used it hundreds of times for this job over the years and it's worked perfect I dread the day I lose it but anyway so you crack it loose and then you spin this off and there you can see the tip that's the little rubber plunger tip I was talking about and right now it's in the up position so it's plugging plugging the bottom of the pickup tube in that carburetor no point in showing that you're not going to see it but anyway so when you apply power to this this actually pulls down and it allows flow through through the pickup tube and when you release power it plugs these will get plugged up like down down inside that little groove there you'll get deposits of, of stuff and this will sometimes get stuck in the up position so it won't actually be able to open when you turn the key thus you won't be able to start the machine because it doesn't get any air fuel um, sometimes it'll get stuck in the down position or if it's really sluggish it'll get stuck in different positions so these things need to be cleaned and serviced once in a while they're expensive so don't don't buy one if you don't have to but i find a really light penetrating oil uh down inside there bounce this up and down a whole bunch and you'll probably find that it, it loosens right up blow it out with some compressed air and you'll be good to go if you actually connect this and lean it against the side of the engine and have your friend turn the key on and off you'll you'll hear it and feel it and you'll see this plunger move up and down now don't do that if you've pulled this out and there's gasoline everywhere because when this grounds against your carburetor you could get a spark it could light it on fire so don't 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 manually make this open and close it's not a good idea but anyway so that's how these um fuel solenoids work don't lose the little little washer on there because that's what seals the bottom of the bowl uh, this tractor uh, was running but it was running pretty bad so i decided to pull this out and blow out the carburetor and you can i don't know if you can see it in the video but i mean the fuel that's poured out of this thing is got to be half water it's absolutely disgusting so i'm just draining out this uh this fuel tank it's about just under half full maybe one quarter full and uh, we're just gonna drain it out recycle this bad fuel and put some fresh uh, blow this out with compressed air put some fresh fuel in and hopefully she's ready to go back home to her owner and cut some grass this afternoon 
So there's a quick quick view on those fuel shut off solenoids. They're the same across the board for uh, just about every engine out there. I've seen them on Kohlers, I've seen them on Kawasaki's, Briggs and Stratton's. I don't know if I've seen them on Tecumseh's, but they don't make those anymore, thank God. And uh, anyway, yeah, I just thought you'd like to see that. Thanks for watching guys. I'll make some more videos about this stuff. Please subscribe.